Everybody, I am Raymond Camden. I am a developer advocate for Adobe, uh, working on our document services API, Photoshop APIs, and other things. Uh, and today, I'm going to be talking about how generative AI can be your content assistant. Now, I've been in tech for way, way, way too long. Uh, so, the explosion of Gen AI in the last half a year, a year or so, I've perhaps looked at it with a jaded eye a bit. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of splash and news and all that, and not necessarily sure how practical it would be. Uh, but over the last couple of months, I've been slowly looking at it, slowly playing with it, and I'm finding some interesting use cases uh, for things that I think could help me in my day-to-day. Specifically, uh, one of the things that came up recently is I support the Patreon Patreon of an author named John Birmingham, John Birmingham, and he has talked about how he is using Gen AI to help in his writing process. Now, to be clear, not, not the creative aspect at all, but rather more of a procedural type thing. So he could give Gen AI the notes of a plot outline or, or notes about a character and ask for advice about how to do certain things like introduce a character's motivation earlier and et cetera. And uh, he kind of talks about how the feedback is, you know, obviously just based on what's already out there, but it helps kind of get the mental juices flowing in terms of how to work on the story. And that seemed really, really interesting to me in terms of, you know, maybe Gen AI can help in my writing, uh, especially in the areas that I don't necessarily like doing. And that's what I'm going to show an example of today. Now, for my examples, I'm going to be using the Google AI uh, service and Eleventy as my source code. Obviously, you can use anything you want, but uh, that is what I use. And the Google stuff is um, pretty easy to play with. And I'm going to show you an example real quick. Uh, this is their AI studio. Uh, it lets you write and test prompts. So for example, I am going to, I'm going to write a quick prompt just to show you why are cats better explain in the form of a sonnet. Uh, thankfully, it's not too rough on my grammar. Now, this is all cool and stuff, but what I really, really liked uh, about this particular uh, web app is that you can immediately go into Git code and take that code and copy and use it locally. One of the things you'll see is that the code is actually pretty darn simple, uh, 57 lines of code. And something that has really kind of struck me uh, the more I use Gen AI, it's a lot like SQL, where in your language of choice, SQL or NoSQL, it's typically very easy to do a SQL query. What's not so easy is writing a good SQL query, you know, ensuring that you have something performant and that gets you the data out. But outside of that, the code is pretty simple. So I want to show you an example. Um, I am going to show a script that is going to look at a markdown file. You see the one on screen here. It's going to get the title. And what I want it to do is give me ideas for potentially better titles. I have a very short little Node.js script here, and I'll scroll up a little bit. And most of this is copied right from the AI Studio website with me adding a bit of code to, to do things like grab the front matter title. And I'm doing that right there on line 91. Uh, I have some basic command line prompt checking and stuff like that. But once I get the title, I then pass it to the AI code. And if we scroll back up to there, this is pretty much exactly what uh, the website gave me. And what I did was basically say, you know, given the following title, show me three suggestions. I also asked it to give me the result in JSON uh, to make it easier to display the results. So I'm going to do that uh, for a recent blog post uh, talking about uh, Gen AI and PDF documents. 
the current title is using AI and PDF services to automate document summaries. Not terribly exciting, but we'll run this and see what it comes up with. And oh, it broke. That happens sometimes because error checking. Why do you need error checking? But this time it's definitely going to work. Third time is absolutely the charm. There we go. All right. Uh, I would love to say eventually I'll go into my script and add better error checking. I'm not going to do that. This is for me. Uh, but what's nice is that it does actually give some interesting results. So unlock the power of document summaries with AI and PDF services and explains why it is suggesting this particular example. Um, streamline your workflows with AI-driven PDF document summarization. Harness the efficiency of AI in automating PDF document summaries. Now, I'll be honest, all of this doesn't necessarily feel like my voice, but it gives me options. It gives me at least you know, something to think about before I actually publish uh, my blog post. And honestly, uh, I kind of like the streamline one. And if I had to script before I published that article, I probably would have suggested that. So while we're looking at the source markdown file, uh, part of what I do is have a one line description slash summary in my front matter. I hate writing these. I typically wait till the end. I, I just don't like it. So I thought, why not let GenAI do it for me? So this is one more Node.js script. It's really very similar to the previous one. The only real difference here is that basically I say, given the following blog post, write a one sentence summary, and I'm being very specific, one sentence uh, to use as the description. Now I do do a bit of cleanup on the source. Uh, I remove all the code blocks because I figure it's probably not necessary. I remove the front matter. Uh, I collapse some white space as well. But essentially read in that markdown, clean it up, and then pass it to AI. Now my description, how to use two APIs to, gen to generate summaries of PDF documents, that's true. <laughs> not terribly exciting. So we'll try this summary suggestions on that. And hopefully the first time it works. Learn how to leverage AI and PDF services to automate document summaries and streamline your document management processes. I really think that did a better job than I did. And again, like what what's exciting me about this is that you know, I'm still writing the content, it's still my blog post. But the, the stuff that I don't really want to think a lot about, it can give me a nudge to making my content potentially a little bit better. So I hope you like this. Uh, these scripts will be in my GitHub repository for my blog. If you want to take and use, you will need a Google Gemini AI key, uh, but, but that's free to get and free to play with. So check it out, let me know, and uh, thank you for hearing me out. Yeah.